Um, and my research uh, is looking at how the first impressions that we derive from appearances, namely faces, influences our success in various domains. In particular, I'm interested in the leadership domain, uh, and, and that includes, of course, the domain of politics. And what we find is a really interesting relationship between how stereotypically Republican um, a candidate looks and their vote share in either right-leaning states or among right-leaning voters. In particular, what you find is that the more a candidate looks stereotypically Republican relative to his or her rival, uh, the larger that person's vote share in either gubernatorial or Senate elections, right? Which is very, very interesting phenomenon, somewhat disconcerting, but interesting. What's also interesting is among uh, democratic states or left-leaning states or among uh, democratic voters, you don't find any such relationships. So this is one of these kind of first impressions that, that seem to be unique for some reason to um, right-leaning voters. One of the interesting we things we find is um, that even Democrats who look more Republican relative to their Republican rivals do better the more Republican or stereotypically Republican they look. Um, and this is kind of surprising um, because you might expect that, you know, when voters go to the polls, they actually get to see the names of the candidates. So it's, it's, there's no ambiguity about who the Republican candidate versus the Democratic candidate is, right? So it's not as if voters sort of arrive, they're not entirely sure, so they have to base on their, the, the, the candidate's sort of appearance and that's the only thing they have. That's not the case at all, right? Quite the contrary, they actually have, uh, when they go to the polls, um, on the ballots, it, it's, the ballots make it clear who the Republican is, who the Democrat is. So it's, it's quite interesting that, um, you know, participants who, 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 who say, who, who report uh, that they're right-leaning are still have a, a tendency, you know, to, to, are, are less likely to vote for the actual Republican candidate and slightly more likely to vote for the actual Democratic candidate if the Democratic candidate looks more stereotypically Republican than, the, than his um, rival. So I've been doing research on um, facial impressions for, for a few years now. I, I've been doing it since, since I was doing my PhD. When I started this research, I was surprised by how strong uh, first impressions from faces uh, seem to predict people's choices. Now over the years, I've, I've come to be less surprised. I think that's kind of a sad, <laughs> sad statement. Um, and I've sort of come to, to realize that these, these things really matter, seem to matter a lot. But in the case of this, this particular study, um, you know, it was the first time anyone had looked at the relationship between political facial stereotypes and voting. And because a candidate's uh, political orientation or their party is indicated on the ballot, we thought, you know, there, there might not be much there because, you know, maybe voters come in with impressions, like they have the, the feeling that candidate A is, is more Republican, but when they see on the ballot that candidate A is actually the Democrat, they, you know, that goes out the window and they just go, they vote along party lines. So we were really surprised that this relationship um, sort of still existed and maintained, despite the fact that, can that uh, voters are getting sort of objective, unambiguous information about political party. The big message of this research is that people are influenced by facial appearance, you know, beyond gender, beyond ethnicity, um, and that's kind of troubling to me. I think that, you know, as people want to be selecting their leaders based on sort of actual facts, objective things, um, and it's also surprising the, the extent to which these impressions are robust or resistant to actual information about the person, these more sort of objective things.